Hello YouTube friends! Welcome to my channel, The Travel Diary Lalaps Edition. This is Rai Rai with my husband travel buddy Alan. It's flashback time and we're gonna have a photo walk video of one of our travels way back in year 2019, the year before pandemic. Let's check here in our travel map. This is the travel map that my son Ivan gave us. It is somewhere here in Europe. And it's Italy! Well, we visited several cities in Italy, and all of them are amazing. So this time, we walk you back to the memory lane in the city of business, finance, and fashion. Do you know which one is that? It's Milan or Milano. Here's the ref magnet that I got from the city of Milan. We'll look back the trouble memories we had in Milan, Italy. Are you ready? But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe. From Barcelona, we fly to Milan, and we were surprised to see a Jollibee fast food restaurant here. So our first itinerary is to have lunch at Jollibee. After our sumptuous lunch, we went straight to this beautiful Dumo di Milano. Hello, we're now here in Milan. That's over. And there's Alan. <laughs> and there's the Dumo. I'll show it to you. There's a lot of tourists. So stay tuned for more vlogs. Milan Cathedral or Dumo di Milano or Metropolitan Cathedral Basilica of the Nativity of St. Mary is the Cathedral Church of Milan, Lombardy, Italy. Dedicated to the Nativity of St. Mary, it is the seat of the Archbishop of Milan, currently Archbishop Mario Del Pini. The cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete. Construction began in year 1386 and the final details were completed in year 1965. It is the largest church in the Italian Republic. The larger St. Peter's Basilica is in the state of Vatican City, a sovereign state and one of the largest in the world. Milano's Dumo is the largest and most elaborate Gothic building in Italy, made of pink-hued white marble from a dedicated quarry. It is 157 meters in length and 108.5 meters high. At the top of the main spire, where rests the glistening golden statue of the Madonnina, an evocative symbol much loved both by all Milanese. In front of the cathedral, you will see Monumento a Vittorio Emmanuel II. It is an impressive statue of a king on horseback and sitting lions in the middle of the beautiful Piazza del Dumo. Aside from a home to the Dumo di Milano, the cobbled Piazza del Dumo is part of the Centro Storico area, is bordered by the lively cafes and the elegant fashion shops of the 1870s the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II Mall. This is the Pinacoteca di Brera. The Brera Art Gallery holds paintings created by Italian artists spanning a period from the 14th to 20th century. The gallery shares the Palazzo di Brera with the Academy of Fine Arts, the Lombard Institute of Science and Literature, the Botanical Garden, the Astronomical Observatory, and the Bryden's National Library. Milan is the capital city of the region of Lombardy in northern Italy. It is the second largest city by population in Italy behind Rome. Milan is also known as the Italy's moral capital. Milanese believe that their positive work ethic had led to Milan becoming a world capital of fashion, 
design, finance, business services, and media and publishing. Milan is also famous for its arts and architecture, as it is the home of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper and a celebrated Gothic cathedral, the Duomo. Milan is well known for its rich culture. Get a sense of that culture in Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II Mall. Milan's elegant shopping mall is within buildings lining two arcades, which form a cross shape. The purpose-built structure was an immediate success and earned the nickname, the Salon of Milan, as it was a popular gathering place. Shoppers can walk through the large arc opening on the Piazza del Duomo, which resembles a triumphal arc and along the 196 meters long arcade or the shorter 105.5 meter arcade. The arcades are flanked by a four-story high buildings with facades resembling a grand palace. The arcades have a high curved glass and iron ceiling and a marbled mosaic tiled floor. At the point where the two arcades meet, the ceiling has a 36 meter wide glass dome, 47 meters above an octagonal central piazza. The Galleria has a patriotic symbols in the decoration, mosaic, and murals. On the facade are statues of Italy's greatest scientists and artists. Milan was incorporated into Unified Italy in year 1860. It was heavily damaged during World War II, but was rebuilt. It is Italy's most important economic center, noted for its fashion industry. Right in the center of Milan lies the Sforza Castle, built in the 15th century. The castle is now a museum and houses several masterpieces, including Michelangelo's Pieta Rondanini sculpture. Esparza Castle is a historic fortress, which houses several of Milan's best museums, including the Pinacoteca del Castello Esforzesco. The original fortress on this site was constructed in year 1368. And at that point, it had four 80-meter-long walls with square towers at the corners. Later, the fortress was expanded and converted to a palace residence. Also found in Milan is the Starbuck Roastery. The Milan Roastery is one of the five Starbucks reserved roasteries in the world and the only in Europe. The roastery is responsible for roasting all Starbucks reserved coffee that is served in Italy and across Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Of course, our visit to Milan won't be complete without visiting the relatives. It is actually a reunion between Alan and his cousins, whom he haven't seen for a long period of time. This will end our travel flashback here in Milan but not yet the end of our travel adventure in Italy. Watch out for more! Thank you for watching! And please, don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit on that notification bell for more updates. Bye for now!